What's happening boys? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to change discs using the emulator Midnafin on the game Metal Gear Solid. Uh, and I'm just going to get right into this. So, uh, the first thing you want to do is, right before you change discs, you should be in an area called Snowfield. Um, make sure to manually save. So, go to your phone or your codec um, and ring up mailing. And uh, make sure you manually save. Uh, just save to memory card 1. I'm going to overwrite this save. And once it's saved, you can just exit the game. Don't so, save your memories of me too. right, now that that's saved, I'm just going to close the game. And you're going to want to go to uh, where your ROM files are, so where are stored. And um, there should be a bin and a Q file. So what you want to do is new text document. And I'm just going to name it. MGS, actually it doesn't matter what I name it because I'm going to be overwriting this file anyway. And get your Q file, copy it, disk1, make sure to put .q after it. New line, make sure you take a new line. And then get disk2, copy that, .q after it. Um, file save as, and I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to name it MGS. I make sure, make sure you select all files and type dot m3u and once that's done um, it should make this file m3u file and uh, you're going to want to open with choose another app and um, scroll down more apps look for another app on this face pc and find your midnafin um, your midnafin uh, exe file so Mine's stored here, and written up, and, and open it up. And it should launch the game as normal. So just let it load. Don't don't try to use save states, because I'm not even sure they work at this point. Just let the game load. And um, once you try, if, if you go to the main menu of this, and you try to load game, there will be absolutely no save games. So just let it load to the main menu and then you can close out. Okay, now it's loaded. I'm just going to show you for proof that there is no save games. Absolutely none. Okay. Now that's done, you can close out of the emulator and find where your saves are located. And it should be in your Midnafin sav, sav file. So. Here we have two two sets of saves, and what you want what you're gonna want to have to do is find MGS with the ending zero. Yours might be named a little differently, but just find the one that's named MGS or whatever you named your M3U file. So rename it and copy it. Make sure you copy it and just rename it to zero. And find disk one zero and paste it just like that and do the exact same for disk 2 so mgs1 copy that and name it to 1 and rename this to the exact same um, and you don't really need these files anymore I like to hang on to them because just in case something goes wrong so um, once that's done you can close that down and you can launch your m3u file again and hopefully when you launch it you should be you should be able to see your saves um i'm not sure how to convert over or sorry not convert to bring over save states between between roms um but if i figure it out i'll i'll let you know so just let the game load do its thing load game and once you load game you should be able to see all your saves so there is the snowfield set snowfield file i saved so i'm just gonna load that one up Read mission log no okay now for the actual desk change part um make your way 
Um, and here where the disc change occurs, I'm just gonna use a chaff grenade just so the turrets don't annoy me, so. So run on past, make sure you get all the items that you want from this area, by the way. And once you go down here, it should tell you to change disc. Insert disc too, okay. So you're gonna want to press F8 on your keyboard. Press F6, I believe. Press F8 again. And press start. And it appears to have worked. And once you load back in, you should be on the stairs heading downwards and you should be on disc two. Yep, and there we have it, disc two. So, hope this helped you guys, um, tell me if anything goes wrong, I'll try my best to help you out. So yeah, take it easy.